Trái mình xích that one Aussie, g'day Aussie, kids Aussie. thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day in the meantime enjoy this video Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine Oh, close, close. Oh, hey, so Alright, let's do this, Nicole. Two on one, two on one. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes! Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Can't <grow anymore. laughs> oh. Far out. That was a good strike. Oh, she's got past me. <laughs> Oh, cut it out! Go and boot! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I saved it! Great job. Amazing. G'day kids, Aussie here. Today we are very lucky because we are being joined by two Australian Paramatildas women and these two lovely ladies are going to teach us a little bit about football or soccer and if we're lucky, we might even learn some new tricks. So come on, let's meet two Paramatildas. So we've got Georgia and we've got Nicole. How are you girls? Well, yeah, good. Good, thank you. Thanks for having us, Aussie. Oh, thanks for joining us. So you are from the Paramatildas. What are the Paramatildas? Who wants to go first? I'll go. Uh, the Paramatil Combank Paramatildas are a senior national team for football who represent Australia. And we all have either cerebral palsy, acquired brain injury or symptoms from stroke. So you've still managed with those physical disabilities to make it to the top level in your chosen sport, which is, well, is it, do you call it soccer or football? I call it football. I call it football too. Well, it makes sense, right? Because you're always yeah, you kicking it with your foot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's some kids out there that might think that football is AFL or rugby league, but the real football is this game that you guys play. We think so. Yeah. It's the world game, isn't it? That's right, yeah. All right, now what is it that you love about football? I love football because of the way I feel when I play it. It just brings so much happiness to me. It makes me feel super calm. It's great. Um, I love it because it makes me feel fit as well. Yeah? But, yes. Well, you have to be pretty fit to play, right? Of course you do. Yeah? Yeah. And what about yourself, Georgia? Uh, I love it because, well, essentially what Nicole was saying, but then I also get to play with these legends and 
they're pretty much my best friends now and we get to travel the world and um, yeah, good. Yeah, play together. And have you guys played in some tournaments together? We yeah. have. We've played up in the World Cup in Spain. The World Cup? Yeah. Like the top level with the, the best teams level. in the world? The top level with the best teams in the world. Amazing. How did yeah. you go? We came second, but we ranked first. You came second? Yes. In the world? Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, did any of you score goals? We both did. We, you both did? got the golden boot. The golden boot? I got of the, the whole golden tournament. boot. So what does the golden boot mean? <laughs> the golden boot means that I scored the most goals out of everyone in the whole World Cup. So I scored 13 goals. 13 goals? Yes, 13 goals. Not in one game? No, of course not in one game. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> in a few games? In a few games. I think we played six, six games, games all yes. up. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. That's a lot of goals, Georgia. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. So you obviously did really well at the World Cup. Now what, what's next? Is there another tournament coming up? Yeah, yeah, there is. We uh, Where can we come and watch you? Well, we have the Para Asia Cup in November okay. in Melbourne. Wow. Uh, which is really, really cool because this will be the first time that we'll be able to play on home soil. In front uh, of home crowds. How good would that be? In front be? of our family and friends and people who, who love playing football. Amazing. Now, how would someone become a Para Matilda? So to qualify to become a paramatilda, you need to have had cerebral palsy, a stroke, or an acquired brain injury. Okay. And we're classified in three categories. Okay. So FT1 is the most severely impaired. So they have a look at our movement, our strength, and they're classed us in these three categories. FT2 is moderate impairment. That's Georgia and I are both FT2s. Okay. And then FT3s is minimal impairment. So. Right. They try to make it fair for each team right. to have the same amount of um, disabilities on the pitch. Okay. Okay, so that's that's how it passes. That makes sense. Yeah. Right, now for the kids out there that maybe are living with CP and they would love to one day be like you girls and play football at the top level, what would you say to them? Well, I think I remember being six and wanting to play for Australia yeah, in good. football and it there. was a big, big dream and now it's a dream that's come true Amazing. Um, 20 odd years later. Yeah. But I think looking at these girls and being able to have conversations with them and um, encourage them, I think persistence and resilience are two things that you really need to acquire. Um, you just need to keep on going and never give up. Amazing, I love that. Persistence, resilience, and never give up. Mm -hmm. And one thing that Ozzy says at the end of all our videos is to stay keen, which pretty much sort of sums that yeah. up, right? You just gotta stay keen, even when things aren't going so good. That's true. When things yep. get really That's difficult, right. you gotta stay keen, you gotta never give up, and you gotta follow your dreams. Yeah. And then one day you can pull on the green and gold for Australia. Now, what did that feel like when you did get to pull on the green and gold for your country? Oh. <laughs> I can answer that question. Um, we walked into the change room before yeah. our first game and I couldn't believe when I saw the Australian flag in front of me, all our jerseys hanging around the room with our names on them. His name on the back. I dropped to my knees and I cried for two minutes. Oh. That's how excited and happy and surreal it was, yeah, you know? It's, amazing. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And then being on the pitch and singing along to the national anthem was really tough. Everyone, like, all the girls standing next to me we were all getting really teary. And then we finished singing, and then we're like, right, game time. We've got a job to do. <laughs> We've got a job to do. Let's play. You played in the World Cup. You won five of your six matches. Yeah. Came second in the whole World Cup. Yeah. You got a golden boot. Yeah. 13 goals. You had the time of your life. And now we're here talking about this amazing sport and these achievements that you, you girls have got. And you're inspiring so many kids out there. Unbelievable. Now, it's getting pretty chilly. <laughs> Should we kick some football? Let's, let's do it. Let's go. What are we going to teach? What are we going to learn? A few skills. A few skills. A few drills. All right. We're going to teach and, you how to play. And have some fun. We're going to have some fun. That's the, the main thing. The most important thing is to have some fun. Let's go. <laughs>
All right, girls, so we've just done a little bit of a warm up. Now, I noticed that you were kicking it like this and you were kicking it with different parts of your foot. What's the best way to kick a football? On the inside of your foot. Inside of your foot. Right here. Okay. You want to protect your toes, so no toe punting. Step next to the ball, inside of your foot. Step, and then inside. That's it, got it. Nice. Step, inside, of the, yeah, step, inside. All right. Now, I just, it just felt natural to me to stop it like that. Is there a right way and a wrong way to stop the ball? You can definitely stop it like that if you want. Yeah. But the danger is that the ball's going to go straight through. Yeah. So it's always helpful to use the inside of your foot as a, a stopper, like a doorstep. Okay, so the inside of the foot is very important when you're playing football. Remember that one, kids. Now, what is dribbling? It's not what kids do when they're eating their food. <laughs> What's dribbling in football? Nicole. So dribbling is when you're travelling with the ball. So that's when I use the outside of my foot. Yeah, right. Sometimes the inside, sometimes the outside. You gotta so make sure that you keep with the ball. Keep the ball close to your feet at all times. Okay. And do you use one or both feet? You can use both if you want. Yeah. Depending on what direction you want to go. Right. Okay. Um, and how fast you want to go too. So Ozzy's got a little event coming up. I'm dribbling a soccer ball or a football from Canberra to Sydney. That's a long way. 320 kilometres. That's so I've got to run a long, long way dribbling the football at my feet. Have you got any tips about how to keep dribbling it without getting too tired? Lots of water. Lots Drink of lots water. of water. <laughs> okay, that's important. Don't run too fast. Right. Okay, pace yourself. Okay. So you don't get my other way right. worn that's out. That's a good tip. Yeah. Water, pace. Yep. So it's not and a sprint, it's not more a sprint. like a marathon. Well, it's definitely a marathon. It's actually yeah. more than a marathon a day that I'll yes. be doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've taught me how to dribble and how to kick. Now, what else would you do at a, a normal training session? Training session? Yeah. Well, Ozzy, we have these cones behind us yeah. and we're wondering whether you can dribble through in and out the cones. What do you reckon? Give it a go? Well, I can certainly give it a go. All right. You show me go. how it's done and I'll follow. Using the inside and the outside of your foot. Okay, inside and outside, in and around the, the cones. That's it. Ground. All right, so, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, Good. All right, cool. Dribbling, covered. Kicking, covered. In and out of cones. What's next? What about some tricks? Tricks. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Nicole's keen. <laughs> now, tricks. I've seen that thing where people can kick the ball back on their feet and on their knees and stuff. Now, what's that called? It's called juggling. Juggling? Yeah. So it's not like juggling like a clown does. No, in football we juggle with our feet. Okay, so the way I learned to juggle was to use my laces and to make sure that I'm kicking the ball up, up. Up. Okay, not not down oh, there. Oh, not out. With, no, not down there with the red. Okay, so up. Okay. Okay, and right. I always start off with one. Start with one. Start with one, then catch it. All right. So I'll do one, then you can copy me. Okay. Okay. Up. So that's. That's it. That's a juggle. Yes, and that's the one. That's the first juggle. That's a that's single how juggle. That's we all start off. Okay. Okay. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Once you do that, try two. With the same okay. foot? No. One with the first foot and then one with the second foot. No way. Yeah. All right. And then catch it. Okay. Don't move on to three until you can do two. Okay. Because small practice, steps. Yep. Small steps because practice makes perfect. Of course. And you need to be very patient. Right. Okay. Now let's go. All right. Yeah. I'm going to have a turn of that. There you go. Nice. Two. And then we'll try three. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. One, two. Three. There you go. Got a bit of work to do. That's okay. So you can use your knees in juggling as well. Of course you can. Now, do you always have to go left, right, left, right? You don't. No. But I like. But that's to how you learn. That way. That's how I learn. So first one again, but this time round, I want my knee to be straight, parallel to the ground. Okay. okay I don't want it on an angle again. Right. 
or too far up because it's going to come straight in my face. You don't want that. Face. No. So again, up, catch. Okay. That's so it. that's the knee. Now let's try two knees. Oh, two knees. All right. One, two, catch. <laughs> try that again. Yeah. There you go. Nice. You think you can do three? Three knees? Yep. Give it a go. Show me. One, two, there we go. Yeah. And then it goes four, five, six, six and seven, so eight, on. nine, ten, yeah. hundred. A hundred and one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to practice though, of course. So we're in a group of three. Yeah. Do you ever juggle with just one ball and go around the circle? Sometimes. Does it work? Sometimes. It works. Should we try it? Let's go. Oh, oh come on, Aussie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. All right. One of the things I love when I watch football is when someone scores a goal and they go running around the pitch and doing crazy things, all sorts of different kinds of celebrations. Do you girls have a celebration that you love to do? We do. So last year, we've got uh, a teammate called Lainey Harrison on our team and she came up with what we've sort of called the kangaroo bop. Kangaroo bop. The kangaroo bop. That's pretty Aussie. So the first like goal it. that she got in the World Cup, we decided to all gather around and do this action in a circle. <laughs> so can I do it? I'm not a paramatilda, but can I? Yeah, of course. Be a, an honorary paramatilda and do the kangaroo bop. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, so you all sort of so just together. gather together and we just go around like this. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Now you said it before, it's all about having fun. Yep. Now what's one of the most fun games that you know that you play at training? Yeah, so we learnt this game only a few weeks ago. It's a warm up game. It's sort of like stuck in the mud, but it's called hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Okay. So you have a tipper. So if I tip you, Aussie, yeah. you become a silly sausage and you need to lie down on the floor on your back. I can be a silly sausage. I'm very good at that. All right. Now, Aussie. Do you, I just lay here? Yep. Oh, you can call out silly. for help if you want. Help the silly sausage. <laughs> but Aussie, you can't move oh, okay. until two buns come and save you and they need to lie <laughs> on the side of you. Two like buns. This. And now we're saved. We can, we're free. Two we can buns run and again. Silly sausage. And not right, get tipped. Run <laughs> All right, so if I was the tipper. Yep. And I get you, Georgia. Oh, no. Silly sausage. Help. Help. All right, we need two buns. We're free! Woohoo! <laughs> Which is a great game. It's a great warm up game. Gets but your heart beating and your, your heart blood racing. pumping. Yep. Doesn't really work in three people, does it? No. You could probably um, play it at school, though. You could play it at school. The kids watching that are at school, or even preschool, they can, they can play it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, so hopefully you took notes, teachers and kids. <laughs> that was so good. good All right, job. Nicole, Georgia, I just want to say thank you very much for your time. No worries Teaching Aussie all. and all the kids about football and about the Paramatildas. Congratulations on your success so far thank and you. all the best for your upcoming tournaments and this amazing journey that you're on as, Thanks, as professional Australian footballers. It's very exciting to be part of them. Thank you very much again. Kids, I hope you've loved it. We'll see you on a brand new episode of Aussie this weekend. Until then, stay keen. Oh, too far! Oh, I should go past me. Oh, cut it out! <laughs>
going boot. Oh! <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> Great job. Amazing. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen kids. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of